Hi everyone, I'm Eddie Baskoro. Welcome again to MA3051. In this section, we are going to discuss about the shortest path problems. The shortest path problem is one of famous problems in graph theory, and this problem exists in many, many real-world applications. Let's start with definition. Edges might be associated with real number. And in this case, we call the width of the edges. And we denote by W E for the edge of the H E. A weighted graph is a graph with weighted edges. And the weights here can represent distances, time, construction, and or uh, maintenance costs. For subgraph H, we define uh, the weight of subgraph H is actually the sum of all weights of edges in the subgraph H. And we note that if u phi is not an edge, then the weight of u phi is infinity. Now we state the shortest path problems. Given any weighted graph, we would like to determine a shortest path between two given in the graph, two given vertices in the graph. For example, here we have a weighted graph with all weighted are integers, all weighted are integers, and uh, the bold line here represents a shortest path from U north to uh, V naught. This is one example of real problem for a shortest path problem. This is to find a shortest path from station A to station B when you use a MRT. And this is another example. In this context, the shortest path problems in the form of finding the most reliable path from city to another city. In this section, we are going to explain one of the algorithms to solve uh, this sort of path problem, which is a Jigsra algorithm uh, founded in 1959. In fact, this algorithm not only giving you a sort of path between Two given vertices, which is u to u u north to p north, but also uh, giving you a shortest path from u north to all other vertices of of g. Now let g be a graph, and as a subset of uh, phi phi g, and S bar is the set of all vertices uh, not in S and U not in, in S, then to get the distance from U not to S bar is just simply to find these two vertices U, U bar and V bar so that the distance from U not to u bar plus the weight of this edge u u bar phi bar is minimum. So we have uh, this formula 1.1 and this formula actually the basis of this uh, Jigsaw's algorithm. Let's have a look at now the Jigsaw algorithm. 
In general, there are four steps in the algorithm. Again, I have to highlight here this formula to find the distance from the origin vertex u north to the set s bar. And in this case, we have to find the vertices u and v, u in s and v in s bar, so that this distance plus this weight, the weight of u v, is minimum. And this formula is uh, the basis of Dijkstra algorithm. We are going to use uh, in the step four here. In every step, actually, uh, second step, and then uh, third and the fourth steps here. In general, we are construct S node, S1, S2, up to Sn minus 1, with n is the number of vertices uh, in graph G. With S naught is the set of U naught, and, and in every step, we add this set by a new vertex V, which is the nearest vertex from U naught. Yeah. So this is actually uh, the uh, essence of the Jigsaw algorithm. Now see the example here. We have a graph G with all integers weights in edges. And now we are going to find shortest path with the origin vertex O. So in this case, uh, S north is the set of uh, this vertex, O vertex. And for the next step, we are going to find a vertex which is uh, nearest from O. So here we can see that this vertex is the nearest one because the distance is one uh, from O. And the other vertex, for example, like this one is the distance is seven. And this one, the distance is two. And this vertex, the distance is three. So uh, this vertex will be included uh, or we can add it to the previous S, S0. So we have these two uh, vertices in S1. And on the, uh, now in the next step, uh, we are going to find another vertex which is nearest from uh, north here. So we can see here uh, this this vertex is the nearest one from O because uh, the distance is 2. The other vertex, again, this one, the distance is no longer 7 because we, we, are, we can go from 0 or from north here through here and then to this vertex. So we have 5, yeah, 5 uh, distance, uh, 5 distance. So uh, here, this vertex at distance 5. And then this vertex at distance 3, because we can go directly from O to this, this vertex. Not, not necessary to go this way. Yeah? So we have here uh, this vertex belong to the next uh, S. So now we have S2 is a set of this vertex and this vertex and this vertex. So we have three uh, vertices in S2. Next, we are going to find another vertex which is nearest from O uh, that we can reach uh, from O directly or from this vertex or from this vertex. So now we can see here this vertex is uh, the closest one yeah, from O because the distance is straight. Yeah? So we have now in this step, uh, these four vertices are in our S. So we have uh, uh, this, this vertex and this vertex and that vertex and that vertex. Yeah? Now, in the next step, we are uh, 
again to find another vertex which is still not in S, uh, the nearest one from O. So here we have this vertex because the distance is 3 through this vertex. Yeah? This is 1, this is 2, we sum, so we have 3. Yeah? So uh, in this step we have this vertex uh, as the nearest uh, vertex from O. And then next step we found this is another vertex which is nearest from O and so forth and so forth. So uh, finally we have um, the spanning tree actually uh, and red lines here represent uh, the shortest path uh, from uh, the origin vertex which is vertex O. So if we want to find the shortest path from O to this vertex, then we go this way. Right? This is one, this is two, and then this is three. So we have a, a path of length three, and the the width is this is one plus two, and then plus one. So we have a four uh, weight uh, here in this case. We can have another variant of Jigsaw algorithm by using the weight of the vertices. Yeah. Remember, in Jigsaw algorithm, our graph have the weights in the edges. Now we define also the weight of the vertices as follow. First, set the weight of uh, the vertex you know, the origin vertex is zero, and then the weight of the other vertices are infinity and set as node is the set of the origin vertex which is a uh, uh, u node yeah? and then in the second step uh, for other vertices uh, v not in s node yeah? uh, we uh, update the weight of v here by uh, this uh, formula. So we have to find the minimum of the values of the previous weight or uh, the values of the uh, weight of u, ui plus uh, the, weight, uh, the weight of the edge here, uh, u, uh, ui phi, uh, yeah? So that means here, um, we update the previous weight uh, alpha here by comparing these values, yeah, and uh, finding the minimum one. And now we compute all uh, the weights uh, for the other vertices, yeah, uh, not in as uh, I here, and uh, we are going to find the minimum one, yeah. Let's ui plus 1 here, the vertex uh, weights uh, having the minimum weight uh, in this case. So if uh, we have that, then add this vertex here to the, the, the previous si. So we have si plus 1 is actually uh, the union of si. Uh, with uh, the set of this uh, uh, vertex. So we do this thing uh, in uh, se several times until we, we have uh, Sn minus 1 and then we, uh, uh, we finish uh, with uh, uh, this algorithm. Okay, now let's see uh, the example here. So we are having a graph here. This is actually our previous uh, uh, graph. Yeah? In the first step, we are going to uh, set that this uh, vertex has label or has weight zero, and the others uh, have uh, infinity uh, label or infinity weight. So we have here in the tables, yeah, so O uh, has uh, uh, weight 0, and the others uh, have uh, infinity. 
In the second step, now we have to revise all the weight of the vertices here. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> in the first step, we have this is a zero, zero weight. And then the second step now, we are, we are having here the width of B is 1. Why 1? Because uh, we can have a, a path with, uh, with a width of 1 here from 0. Yeah? So we update uh, the width of B here is 1. And then we update uh, the width of uh, this vertex D is 2 because we have a, a path from zero uh, from uh, O here uh, to D, so uh, of uh, with 2. And then uh, A is 7, and then F is 3. And the others, here we have still infinity because uh, we do not have a path, uh, direct path from north to the other vertices, yeah? And then the third step, we again update all the weights of uh, the vertices here. We can see here now A is no longer 7. Uh, the, the, the weight of uh, this uh, vertex because we have a path from north, uh, from uh, O here to A here through B here. Yeah? So we have, this is a path, this is a shortest path, yeah? This is, uh, we have a width, is 5. So the width uh, of A here is 5. And D is remain uh, 2. And then now we have the width of E updated by 8, by 8, because we have a path go through like this, yeah? And then uh, F here, uh, we have still uh, 3. And we have uh, seven, and this is a uh, three. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> so uh, the one with this uh, minimum weight, we uh, we mark by red uh, vertices here. So at this stage, we have uh, three uh, vertices with minimum weights. So this is uh, here's the, our origin, and then this is the second one, and then this is the third one. Okay, so for the next step, again we update all the weights of the vertices, yeah, and we find that F is a minimum weight uh, among uh, other vertices, yeah, and then we go again uh, to the fifth step, we find that C now is the minimum weight, yeah. So until uh, n minus one step, so in, that means here we have uh, until uh, eight step. Then finally we can get that uh, all vertices become red. So that means these all vertices now having the minimum weights. So that means uh, we can uh, see here uh, the weights here. Uh, represents uh, the length of the shortest path from uh, O to this uh, vertex. Yeah? So for example, we have um, the width of A here is 5. So because we have a uh, shortest path from O uh, to A uh, with uh, width uh, 5. Yeah? This one. Yeah? This is uh, the first uh, edge, this is in the second edge, yeah? So we have a five. Okay, so I think this is, uh, uh, we, we, we already give you two examples of Jigstra uh, uh, algorithm. And now I give you some exercise uh, to work with. And I hope you, uh, can understand the uh, nature or the essence of the Zixra algorithm in solving uh, the problem of uh, sort aspect. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.